This week, Pastor Steve discussed being a spiritual contributor instead of just a consumer. But what is that all about? And how did Jesus demonstrate that in his own life? Hey everyone, and welcome to Beyond the Sermon, our weekly series where we take a look back at our Sunday sermon and dive into it a little bit further so we can learn, grow, and go deeper with Jesus. My name is Derek, I'm one of the ministers here, and like I said, Pastor Steve preached a sermon this Sunday called Spiritual Contributors. Spiritual Contributors. Now, the thing he talked about was contributing instead of being a consumer, instead of taking, we want to give something because we are the church. We are the ones that are going to carry this message of Jesus to the world around us. And he talked about how we can do that. But I thought today we'd look and see how Jesus did that in his own life as well. So we're going to Matthew chapter 20 today. And let me give you some context for the scripture we're going to read. We're starting in around verse 24. But the context here is that James and John were disciples and their mom came and said, hey, Jesus, let my sons be in a position of power in your kingdom. First of all, their mom came and asked this question. What's up with that, James and John? I mean, come on. But anyway, the thing is, Jesus told them, you don't know what you're asking. You, you don't understand what you want. And they're like, no, 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 we do. We get it. You know, we, we totally want this. And he's like, oh, my goodness. And so when we start in verse 24, that is the context of the story that we're in. So we're going to Matthew chapter 20, verses 24 through 28. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Verse 24 says this, When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, they were indignant. So the other disciples are like, what are you doing? James and Double J, what's going on here? How dare you ask this question? They probably actually were upset they didn't ask it first. But anyway, that's not in the text, so we can't prove that. <laughs> Verse 25, But Jesus called them all together and said, You know that the rulers in this world lord it over their people, and officials flaunt their authority over those under them. So he's, he's starting to compare here. Now he says this, verse 26, But among you it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be a servant. And whoever wants to be first among you must become your slave. And then Jesus says this, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so that is what Jesus is talking to the disciples about here. First of all, the disciples are upset because James and John are trying to, you know, usurp their uh, position here. And they're like, what the heck are you doing? And Jesus brings them all together. I like that because he's like, look, I'm not going to say this 12 times, okay? We're coming all together, and I'm going to tell you once. This is not how this is going to work. Leaders in the world, they flaunt their authority. They lord it over people. But he says, it's going to be different with you. This is not how this is going to work with you guys. Because if you want to be in a position of leadership, you're going to have to serve. And that's how this is going to work. And in this passage, Jesus says he came to do two things. Okay, two things. Number one, he came to serve others. It says he came to serve others, not to be served, but to serve others others. And the second thing he came to do is to give his life. It says to give his life as a ransom for many. So right here, Jesus is declaring to them. In the context here, it's about leadership. It's about you know being first and last and that sort of thing. But Jesus is explaining, look, here's two things that I'm declaring that I'm here to do, and that's to serve and to give. And if you want to live this life, if you want to be leaders in this community, if you want to go out and spread this message, if you want to be my disciples, you too are going to serve and to give. You know, so often we make it so difficult. You know, it's kind of that love God and love people. It's very simple in the, in the idea of what to do, but then to live that out, that's the difficult part. You see, serving is more than just working at a food pantry. You know, giving is more than just putting a 20 in the offering plate on Sunday morning. Now, those things aren't bad, but it's more than that. It is a lifestyle. Jesus' purpose was to serve, was to give, instead of coming to be served or to take. And so we, as Christians, it is our job as the church, as the people, to declare the good news of Jesus. And the way we do that is to serve and to give. Even when it feels like, wow, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go. I want to be in a position of power like James and John. I want to be like that. Sometimes it's hard to say that because we don't want to be looked at like James and John were. And the other disciples are like, what are you doing? But to be honest, we do want that. We want to be first. We want to be looked at great. We want people to remember us and, and sing our praises. But Jesus says to his disciples, and I, I think to us today, it's not going to be like that with you. It's going to be different. 
yeah, sure, you're going to have a leadership position, but that leadership position means you're going to serve. Yeah, sure, you're going to be able to teach and help and do all those things because of your faith, but that means you're going to give. And Jesus' example to us is he came to serve others and to give his life. That is how we contribute to the kingdom of God. Instead of taking everything as a, as a wonderful gift and God gives blessings, which he does, there's nothing wrong with receiving from Jesus, but instead of focusing on that, we as the church can focus on the fact that we can serve others and give our lives. How does it look in your own life? Well, that's really between you and God and your community that you belong to. But how you serve and how you give is how we work out in our daily lives. But the main thing to remember is today, I need to serve others and I need to give of myself, give my life. And sure, Jesus came and he, he made the ultimate sacrifice, but here he wasn't talking about necessarily giving his life uh, on the cross. Now, you might say, yes, he was. He was talking about giving him his life as a ransom. Of course he was talking about giving his life on the cross. Sure, that was definitely always within the context of what Jesus was talking about. But Jesus came to give himself on the cross and to give himself to heal, to provide hope, to, to speak life into people. And that's the way that we can give our lives as well. So let's remember today to serve others and to give of ourselves just as Jesus did in his own life. Hey, if you like this and you'd like to hear the entire sermon called Spiritual Contributors, well, just visit southportheights.church slash media. There you'll find this sermon along with all of our other sermons as well. Just visit southportheights.church slash media. And if you like this and you'd like to go deeper in other sermons as well as going deeper in worship songs and all kinds of other great stuff, well, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like our Facebook page so you don't miss out on any of our other great online content. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Derek and I look forward to the next time we can join together and go beyond the sermon.